Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel and welcome to my final, my final episode of my 2019 Beauty Favourites series. So this is a series that I do every single year and rather than lumping all of my most loved, most used products into only one video that ends up literally being like three hours long, nobody got time for that. I separate it into individual categories so that you guys can pick and choose which ones you want to watch, which ones suit you and you know, just makes it a lot easier if you want to refer to it like later on throughout the year. Um, yeah, it's just a better way to do it. So in today's video and the final episode, the final part of this series, I was going to drag it out further but I think that we will skip brand products, mascaras, that's the only, they're the only two categories that we haven't done. Yeah. Oh, and eyeliners because there's just really not enough products. Like I literally have like one favorite in each. So yeah. <laughs> so in today's video, we are doing lipsticks. Now I have also included lip liners and glosses in this one just to make it a lot kind of easier to navigate. Um, yeah. All of my most loved, most used, most recommended lip products of 2019. To give a little bit of context in what I'm looking for in a lip product, I want something that firstly is really easy to apply. I don't want to have to spend hours like putting, you know, multiple layers on, like trying to get like full opacity in the color. I want to be able to slap it on really, really quick. I want it to be able to last, not end up all over my teeth, not end up bleeding like and just, you know, looking like a hot mess before I even get to the first meeting of the morning. I also want something that's not going to end up all over my teeth. I mean, I have actually shot full, like, two hours of footage and then, uh, you know, gone to edit it and there's literally red lipstick, like, all over my teeth. It happens. I don't want lip products that do that. And I also want something that's not going to feel dry. I do have quite dry lips, which is interesting because my skin is so oily. But my lips are really, really dry and I hate when they just feel like, ugh, like the entire like your entire life has been sucked out of your lips i hate that feeling so i really look for products that are really hydrating that are lightweight that don't really feel like you're even wearing a color at all so yeah that should give you a bit of context into you know why i love all of these products if you're interested please stick around please make sure to subscribe and hit that notification bell and let's jump into the best lip products of 2019. all right let's quickly do lip liners first now i pretty much love all of these lip liners for exactly the same reason they're all very pigmented very very long lasting quick and simple to apply and you don't go through the entire pencil in the space of two weeks. They're, they're, they're quite like the formulas are done really, really well in the sense that, you know, you don't need heaps of them. A little bit goes a long way. So you're not going to have to waste more money in a couple of weeks having to buy a replacement basically. So first up and, you know, cream of the crop for me has been for years. Nothing has changed. The Gerard Cosmetics lip liners are absolutely sensational. They are so ridiculously pigmented. You can completely wear these as a lip color on their own. You don't even need a lipstick. They're so soft and smooth when applying them. The colors are incredibly vibrant. They come in an amazing array of colors. Um, I just, I swear by these. These have been my favorite for a really, really long time for a really, really good reason. I just... I adore them and I really, really recommend, um, you know, and they're quite affordable too. They quite often have sales. Um, and I also do obviously have a 30% discount code. So you can use the code joy if you want to get 30% off them, but they do often also quite regularly have sales where you can get like, I don't know, like say for example, five lip pencils for $30 kind of a thing. Like I love these so pigmented, so creamy, so long lasting. They're amazing. Another brand that does really, really amazing lip pencils is ColourPop. Now I don't find that these ones last as long as the Gerard Cosmetics lip pencils, but they are certainly super, super creamy, super pigmented, amazing, amazing, amazing range of colors. A lot of really beautiful nudes with like literally every single under. Oh, what have I done? Oh, oh, I sharpened it and it, the lids come out. These are only $5, I'm pretty sure, $5 as well. Again, you don't need to necessarily pair this with a lipstick. They're just gorgeous, totally worth every single cent. It's quite alarming really that they are so affordable because they are really, really good quality. So I also really, really recommend these ones. And then lastly for lip liners, the MAC lip liners. Like, again, another product that I have talked about for a very, very long time. These ones are a much, much, much drier formula. Please don't think that the formula of these is exactly the same as like the Gerard Cosmetics one, for example. They're a much drier formula and these always need to be paired with a lipstick. I find that they're too dry to really be able to be worn, you know, just on their own, but they're so long lasting. Like once these are on your lips and the boldly bare color is easily my most loved and most used. But um, yeah, once these are on your lips, they ain't going anywhere. Like they are like literal paint. They're moving in. They're like that uncle that comes to visit and never leaves honestly 
I love these. This shade here is Saw, which is like a little bit deeper. Um, yeah, lip liner that acts like a paint, basically. But you will need to either pop a gloss over the top or a lipstick over the top if you're wanting to wear them as an all-over color. So that is it for the lip liners. I mean, obviously, I've tried heaps of lip liners from all different brands, some which I loved, some which I didn't. But for me, I always go back to those three brands. Like, I know what I like. You can't stop me. <laughs> so next up, I'm going to move into liquid lipsticks. And I've actually only, oh, well, no, I do have two brands technically. But again, this is something that hasn't changed. Like, I've been... You know, I've been doing this for a long time and I've just been talking about the same products over and over again every single year. These are always like my most loved and most used because no other brand has been able to match the formula of these. Now, this is another product by Gerard Cosmetics and it is their liquid lipsticks. So they call these their Hydra Matte Liquid Lipsticks and they're everything that the name says that they are. They are so hydrating. They are so lightweight. They do not dry my lips out at all. They are very, very long lasting. I can apply one of these liquid lipsticks in the morning and literally not have to worry about it until like 3 p.m. And that includes eating lunch. Um, they're absolutely amazing. Now they come in so, 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 so many different colors. Um, I really love all of the colors in the range. Honestly, they're all beautiful, but my most used is Mile High and Skinny Dip. Um, I will, I'll show you swatches of them. Um, they're just like pinky sort of nude kind of neutrals. I love them. And I get a lot of questions. Like whenever I wear these, people are always like, what's on your lips? I'd be liking that. <laughs> they also smell really nice. They've got like this, it's nearly like kind of like a vanilla sort of a scent. So this one here is Mile High. It's a beautiful pinky rose kind of a color. Very, very gorgeous. And like I said, like you put these on, they're so lightweight that it doesn't even feel like you're wearing a liquid lipstick. You know how most of the time you put a liquid lipstick on, you're like, I feel like my lips are going to snap, like crack. It's just, it feels so thick and so drying. You will not get that sensation with these at all. They're gorgeous. This one is Skinny Dip. It's a little bit lighter and a little bit more on the pinky side um, than Mile High. But yeah, I just, you can't go past these. I promise you. Again, I do have that code for 30% off. So use the code if you want. Don't use the code if you want, but the code Joy will get you 30% off anything on their website. Um, just the most amazing formula and liquid lipsticks that I have come across. And I have tried a lot of liquid lipsticks, a lot. But there is one exception to this. There is one here. And I was truly shocked at the formula of this brand. Now, this is the brand Luna Beauty. It is obviously by Manny MUA. He is another YouTuber. Um, he's really, really talented. But he launched his own brand, Luna Beauty. And I happened to randomly try out this liquid lipstick. And I still, to this day can't get over how good it is. So this is in the shade Aphrodite. It is just an absolutely magical red, but the formula, like, I don't know how or what or why, but so lightweight, so rich. You do not need to apply, you know, coat after coat, you'll get full opacity. It smells like an actual, like vanilla cake mix. Like, oh, I want to bake. Maybe I'll have time. 3.51. Oh, I may not have time. Um, Just an amazing formula. And when I applied this and all the other times that I've worn this, it lasts all day long. Like I'm, this is like just like a random one that I discovered this year that I'm really, really impressed by. I do totally recommend this. Gerard Cosmetics obviously has amazing reds as well. But this one, like, oh really really love all right moving into bullet lipsticks now um firstly i'll quickly mention the color pop i think they're called like the Lux or the so Lux. let me confirm they're like the Lux cream lipsticks if you're not wanting to spend too much money and you're after a really creamy really hydrating really rich lipstick formula you will not be disappointed in these. They're absolutely amazing. I've got three shades here. These are the three that I wore the most. But again, if you're not like a pinky nude kind of a girl, because again, and I've said this in all the other videos, like it, it comes down to color preferences as well. Um, yeah, if you're not a pinky nude kind of a girl, these might not be for you, but they've got so many colors available like on their website, like literally pages and pages and pages of lipstick colors. So you'll be bound to find something that you love. But for me, these three, oh, gorgeous so first up spring roll which is a cream formula really oh i'm sort of running out of room aren't i really beautiful sort of like light pinky kind of a nude i absolutely love this one and the formula of this is so rich like they're called the luxe lipsticks for a reason they feel luxurious and so much pigment this one here is afterglow which is like this amazing like straight up pink 
This looks incredible paired with a smoky eye, like Mm, mwah. <laughs> and then lastly, I have Big Break. The other cool thing about ColourPop is a lot of the shades, like they come in a lip liner, they come in a lippy stick, which is like a hybrid between a lipstick and a lip pencil. And then they also come in these, and I think they also come in a gloss. So yeah, if you fall in love with a color, but it's not necessarily like maybe you don't like bullet lipsticks, you'll be able to find it in another formula. And this one here is again like another pink, but it's sort of got a bit more depth to it. It's a little bit more nude than this one, but Oh, the formula of this is so good. Like I said, so much pigmentation. They're so creamy, but they still feel really light. I don't find that they bleed or transfer. They've got really, really long lasting time. Um, they're just amazing. And I really actually quite like the bullets. They've got like these little stars. Hopefully you can see all stamped into the bullet. It's actually really, really cute. So affordable, such good quality. Totally recommend these. I, I just, I use them so much throughout the year. Colourpop lipsticks, just mm, well done Colourpop. Another lipstick formula that I came across in the last year that I've just been blown away by is this new one by Clinique. So Clinique released a range, and correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe there were 50 different shades. It was basically like a line of nude lipsticks for absolutely every skin tone. So all the way from like super, super fair skin tone with like, let's say like a pink undertone all the way up to a really, really beautiful, rich, super deep. Um, they've just, they've got a nude that they've created for absolutely everyone. And I just cannot get over the formula of these lipsticks. They're insane. So they're called, they've got a, quite a bizarre name, the Even Better Pop Lip Color Foundation. Quite an unusual name. Um, but for me, these are essentially like a lipstick and they've got really amazing like full-on color payoff and pigmentation but you cannot feel that you're wearing them at all it feels like you're wearing a really really hydrating lip balm but at the same time it's not like a lip balm that's like heavy and you're like oh there's something on my lips like you just feel like you've got so much hydration in your lips basically hopefully that makes sense so i've grabbed a couple of them here these are the ones that i you know really really love the most I've got a subtle enamored and eyelet, but like I said, they, they come in so many different colors. And they're just seriously so, so creamy, so buttery. Like you barely even have to touch the lips. You'll just get full opacity. Very rich, very creamy, luxurious formula. Quite like the packaging too. I was just blown away. Like when, and because I actually discovered this um, for the first time at a Clinique event and, you know, I was like, yeah, yeah, you know, cute nude lipsticks. We all know I love nude lipsticks. I wasn't really expecting too much out of the formula, but then I tried them and I was like, what? Like they're insane. It's like a real kind of like hybrid type formula. They're beautiful. This one's like more of like a pinky kind of a nude. So there are the three shades here. Again, and I mean, look at all of the colors that I've swatched here. They're very, very similar because I mean, look at the color on my lips right now. I always gravitate towards pinky nudes. They're my favorite. They're the ones that I love the most. It's a thing. Truly, really, if you've got dry lips, if you're looking for a lipstick that's no fuss, that's easy to apply, that's not gonna bleed or transfer, but is still gonna give your lips heaps and heaps of hydration, you can't go past these. They're absolutely gorgeous. All right, next up, I have my three most used shades. So these are like the Vice, I think, the Vice lipsticks. Um, these two shades and this shade here by Tarte, I, I need to repurchase backups. They're just, I wear them so much. I love them so much. So first with the two ones by Urban Decay. And I don't think you guys are going to be that surprised by this because these have cropped up in so many videos. You'll be used to seeing them. So first we have Liar and then we also have Back Talk. Liar is a really, really beautiful, straight up pinky nude. Uh, it's pretty much exactly the same. Oh, oh, I love, every time I put this on, I fall in love all over again. Pretty much exactly the same as what I was wearing on my lips. But um, way creamier. Um, it's got a very sort of subtle kind of a shine to it. It's not like a straight up matte. They call it a cream formula, but I don't know. I find it to be more of like a satin. This is just a really, really, and I mean, look at that. Like I barely even touch the skin. Full opacity, full pigment, just the most flattering color, um, you know, for no makeup days, for very heavy makeup days. It always, always, always looks good. Back talk, another one, like, mm, love this one. Um, Urban Decay actually came out with like a full back talk collection because this is their most popular, best selling, like overall lipstick shade out of absolutely everything. It's just stunning. Very, very pretty, kind of like a pinky, kind of a nude color. Again, I mean, all these colors are basically the same. I love this. This one is a matte formula, so long lasting. Whack it on in the morning. It's still gonna be there in the afternoon. It looks good with every makeup look. It looks good 
with every skin tone. It's their best selling shade for a very, very good reason. And then lastly, the one by Tarte is Salt Life. So like I said, this is from their Rainforest in the Sea. <gasps> sad oh my god I mean I'll still be able to show you the color but I'm gonna have to buy another one of these oh this is like the third one that I've repurchased too all right well I'm gonna try and show you the color um this is oh god this is gonna make a mess this is the most beautiful like water light super super hydrating cream formula and an amazing, amazing, amazing flattering color. You're probably looking at all these swatches and you're like, Nikia, they're literally all the same. Yes, that is a fair argument, but these are the colors that I always wear. So these are the ones that I'm going to recommend. I think that what you guys will find surprising is Velvet Teddy is no longer in my top lipstick. So Velvet Teddy has been in my, you know, my yearly favorites for from like pretty much since I started my channel, but I'm not wearing it anymore. Maybe because it's a matte, I don't know. I'm not wearing it anymore. Just thought you might be curious to know that. <laughs> but yes, these three here are my absolute, like out of everything, most worn bullet lipsticks for the year. Like I wear them again and again and again and again. Pretty much 90% of my videos, I am wearing one of those three shades. They are glorious. And then lastly, to finish off this video, I have got two lip glosses. I really wanted to include the Fenty Gloss Bomb. I love the formula of that lip gloss, but I cannot find it to save my life. So take it under advisement. The Fenty Gloss Bomb could not recommend it anymore. Really, really, really beautiful, beautiful formula. Not too sticky in a gloss, but also not too heavy, but also sticky enough to last and not like, you know, you don't have to reapply it within 30 minutes. It's just perfect as far as lip gloss goes. But in addition to Gloss Bomb, I did really want to mention the Marc Jacobs lip glosses because they are absolutely... Oh, firstly, if you don't like peppermint, you're probably not going to love these because they are peppermint scented. And when you apply them, you actually get this incredible cooling sensation on the lips. So obviously, if you hate that, you're going to hate these. Go the gloss bomb instead. But I love these and I love these two particular shades here. Firstly, this one is enamored, which is like, again, the same shade as all the other lipsticks that I've shown you. But just the most amazing. Oh, wish I'll pop it here. Just the most amazing lip gloss formula. Not too heavy, not too sticky, not like not heavy enough so again like you know how sometimes you put a lip gloss on you'll have one conversation and then like your lips are bone dry again they last a really really long time oh they smell like actual candy canes i flipping love these like seriously i mean look how pretty they look mm. they give you like lip injections literally that's what it looks like they're so plumping Ooh. I love this one. And yeah, this is just like a beautiful pinky nude. I really, really love the way that this looks, you know, not on top of a lipstick. It just looks beautiful on the lips, you know, maybe with like a little bit of brow pencil and like, a, you know, velvet finishing powder. That's a good one to blur out your pores. You know, no makeup date just looks amazing. And the other one that I have here is actually one of their like glitter lip glosses. And it's quite a surprise for me because you guys know that I do not like glitter lip glosses. I don't like the texture. I don't like looking like my mouth is a Christmas tree. I'm just usually not into it. But the Marc Jacobs, and it's not even just this shade, all of the Marc Jacobs glitter lip glosses are just absolutely so flattering and so, so beautiful. And it's amazing. It's got like this gold and pink sort of shimmer through it. I'll pop it up here. But it's not so much that it's like super overpowering on the lips. It's like the most subtle, beautiful kind of like barely there kind of shimmer. Oh, it's just absolutely gorgeous. I really love it. I really, really recommend this actual formula, the Marc Jacobs lip glosses you'll love. And I wanted to include lip glosses because I mean, I'm not a huge lip gloss wearer, but the ones that I do like, I'm really, really passionate about. So there you have it, guys. Those are all of my favorite uh, lipsticks and lip products. So pencils and glosses for the year of 2019. Some really, really incredible formulas, but at the same time, I feel like not a whole lot has changed. I, I'm very, very picky because I do have such dry lips. So I'm super picky with what, you know, what lip products that I can actually wear all day. Like it's all well and good to chuck on a really pretty lip gloss or, you know, lipstick for a video, but I, I need products that are going to last like a full 12 hours that are not going to suck the moisture out of my lips. Like it's really, really important for me. So yes, I hope that today's video was interesting. I hope that it helped. If you've got any more questions about any of these products or, you know, if you've got any lip products that you can recommend for me that you think that I'll really enjoy based on kind of what I've outlined in what I love in a lip product, please be sure to pop that in the comments section down below. Give the video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it. Make sure you check out the rest of my beauty favorites series, all of the other video categories and yeah, 
that is pretty much it from me, guys. I love you all so much. I hope you're having a great day. I will catch you all in my next video.